If I'm being perfectly honest, I really haven't opened this stove. <laughs> I did once, months and months and months ago, um, but I'm kind of scared of it to be honest. But it's far too cold for me to be even wearing a t-shirt right now, but obviously I'm not putting long sleeves into a stove filled with ash, so yeah. I'm gonna try and get this job done relatively quickly. Um, I don't know if you can see from the angle, but I have a chimney brush. Get on the roof and sweep the chimney and clean out the inside and try and set a test fire probably. I don't have wood, I have whatever wood I've got laying around the property, which is not a lot, but it's enough for a test fire. So first thing I gotta do is get everything off the top so it doesn't melt. Feels weird. <laughs> Probably should have worn my gloves too up there. Um, so I'm a dummy um, and I bought an eight inch chimney brush. I had to special order it, which should have been my first clue. 
um, but it's actually eight inch outer diameter. It's double wall, the inner diameter is six inches. And it says that on the top if I had ever bothered to get on the roof before. It's so bad and I'm so mad that I didn't take my camera up there. Um, but I have to go back up there anyway. So I'm just gonna go inside and see if they carry the six inch brush in store. Cause I think I remember that they do. It's been like months since I looked at this last cause it took forever for the brush to come. Um, but yeah, it seems totally doable at this point. I mean, it took a little bit for me to figure out how the cap came off, but it literally just comes straight up. It was just kind of like glued together with the creosote, so you had to finagle it. But now that it's been up and down, it's no problem. Um, I'm being very cautious because I'm out here by myself, although my neighbors are here. So if I started screaming, I think they would show up, so. Okay, well, Apparently, I can get everything in person and get my stove working because it is very cold in the house right now. If I go to town... Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> Yet another thing going wrong with the van. I have a new year's resolution to start agility training with Teddy. Um, Cause I feel like if I don't do that, I'm gonna regret it. And he's like the perfect age to do it now. Um, so that's my new year's resolution is to start agility training. And I found a trainer um, nearby, but they're booked out until May. So I found a trainer that is an hour and a half away. That's the next trainer, it seems like. Um, and luckily, <laughs> or in a matter of coincidence, um, the closest stores that have all of my fireplace stuff are in her same town. And she has a class today uh, at 4 p.m. So I think I'm gonna get dressed, which I have started to do, and just go to get my stuff and um, yeah, go get Teddy into his first agility class and see how that goes. Good. Down.
success. My poor jeans have been sacrificed for the cause. And that was like super easy. I just need to go wash my hands because they're starting to burn. All of that came out of there. Teddy's being annoying. I bought all of the things to replace all of these old gaskets. So this is the before. And that is why I'm replacing it. Cause that at one point was probably actually stuck on to the glass. So. Did they not even use the putty or is it just that old that it's all gone? Look how cool guys, I was removing the broken screws from here and these are left hand drill bits so you unscrew you use them counterclockwise and there's a chance that when you do that this will happen um the entire thing unscrewed when i was drilling it out because it got caught and because it's going counterclockwise it just unscrewed the whole rest of the bit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The other one didn't do that, um, but I still think I saved the threads. I started to put a bolt in and or an, a screw in and it worked. So I think we're good to go to try and put the rest of this door back on. So this is the before and here's the after. The two bottom screws came out. That bottom screw came out all in one piece like you saw. This one is now a number 10 instead of a number 8 screw. Otherwise, everything I think is good to go. I just need to cure the cement um, for the outer gasket, the door gasket, by setting a fire. Um, on the inside, I don't know how you, all you guys can see. Um... I replaced the fire bricks on this back row, got the dampers in correctly. They weren't in there correctly originally. Everything's cleaned out, got everything else wiped down. I don't know what else could be wrong. So I'm gonna light a test fire and see how it goes. And that's what all this garbage on the top is for to try a test fire out with it. Wish me luck. Of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, the weather looks nice. Um, don't be fooled. There is a national weather advisory right now. stuck inside all weekend because of it. I can't do projects outside. And so I'm gonna try and finally take this door down. Not door, wall. This wall down. 
Because this wall right here is unnecessary. I think it's time for this wall to go. Also, as you can see, I clearly can't be bothered to get dressed for this. So, bear with my dad's hand-me-down sweatpants. did this covering the hole that can't be safe like okay I don't love demo. <laughs> like, this is not fun to me. Um, there's a lot of anxiety around hitting something, around all the bugs and mold, trying to keep things clean. Like, I just don't love it. <laughs> and it's so gross. Like, I will never, I don't think I ever did show what it looks like back there but it's really gross um imagine urinal in a really trashy dive bar what the walls around that look like if they've never been cleaned that's that's kind of what it looks like on these walls here especially this one and it's really gross also i kind of like had to train myself <laughs> like where the toilet paper dispensers so I didn't accidentally touch the wall at night. It was just a lot. Um, and I knew the wall was going away, so I was never going to clean it. Today. 
I think that that's pretty much it for the day. Just gonna clean this up, take a shower because I'm covered in drywall dust and I'm very sweaty and call it good and say that I have accomplished what I need to accomplish for this weekend. Take it easy tomorrow. I said I was gonna take it easy today though and that didn't happen, so. I have to be careful that I actually put a chip in my toilet. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I got you like really zoomed out so you can see because um, it's such a small space. This is kind of what I'm working on right now. Um, so obviously the um, wires need to come through and down and be attached here. Um, and this is what I explained to you. The, like the bathroom is built in addition to the old exterior wall. So that's the exterior wall, and then this is the bathroom. So um, this is gonna have to be, you know, drywall. So I can put the light switch here. Um, all of these light switches are probably gonna get rewired anyways though, because I have one, two, three. This one goes to the old hall light, and then there's two in here, and that's just unnecessary. But for now, I think that needs to go there. I'm just looking at, so if I put another stud, I need to put another stud here for like the drywall to attach to and, and for to finish out this corner. So I think if I cut this beam right underneath that gap and put a stud underneath it, and then kind of just cut this old, old rotten piece of flooring. The only thing is that the um, anchors will, I mean, this won't have any anchors, but at the same time, it's literally like four inches. So I don't know that that really makes a huge difference and it's butted up against this other wall. So even if somebody like kicks it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, if they kick it this way, it has that wall. If they kick it this way, it has that wall and you won't be able to come this way with it. So I feel like that'll be okay. Um, luckily for me, all of this is fine. That wall is like flush with everything. I just put some drywall patch over it and call it good. And then, um, then I just have to deal with this corner. Um, and none of this is load bearing. Obviously that's why I'm taking it all out. But this beam you can see doesn't, um, go behind this, but I think the one above it does. Um, in which case I probably will have to chop it. Um, again, I don't, none of this should be structural cause that, that should be structural right there. Um, and this is just tied into it for the door frame. So I think I know what I'm doing. The question is how much am I doing today?
and get up. And there's more here. 